Hey there, this is Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at adding new font families to GIMP 2.10. So I am on an Ubuntu Linux computer version 18, and the way we do this might be a little bit different on a different system, but let me walk you through how you would do it on an Ubuntu system. So let me first demonstrate some of the fonts that we already have in our system. So I just added a new canvas here, and if I click the text tool here, you can see that there's these font families on the left hand side. So if I were to type this is text, you can actually go through here and you can select different font families and change what the text looks like. So I have a lot of preloaded fonts already in here. And a lot of these I've kind of added custom from a website. Uh, the one I typically go to is fonts.google.com. So if you take a look over here in Firefox, I have that brought up. And you can browse different fonts and you can take a look through and find one that looks good to you and you can add it to your system. And then GIMP should just pick up on it along with other programs if you add it the way that I'm going to demonstrate. So how do we go about doing that? Let's first find a font family that we want to replicate. So I'm going to look for something that is really distinguished from other fonts. I'm going to look for a, a handwriting font. And let's just look through some of these here. Find one that we like. Okay, this looks good to me. This rock salt font here looks really distinct. So we'll know that this is a new custom font that we're adding. Let's first go back to, to GIMP and make sure that we don't already have that font. So it's called rock salt. If I come over here, you can start filtering different fonts here. So you can see as I type R, O, we have Roboto. But as I type rock, we don't have that font currently in the system. So let's go back to Firefox. Let's download this. So if I click the little plus here, we can select the rock salt font. And if I expand this window and we hover over this little download button, we can click download and then I can save this file and I'll save it locally. Okay. So let me go to my files and take a look at that real quick. I'll shoot this over. I'm going to go to my downloads. We can see we have this rock salt zip file here. If I double click on this, we can extract the files from it. So I'm going to click extract and say extract to location. Then I'm just going to create a new folder here to, to contain these, these files. So we have both the TTF and the text in there. So I'm going to make a new folder called rock underscore salt. And I'm just going to drag these into that folder and I'm going to get rid of the initial zip that I have there. And then we can close out of this extraction window too. Okay, so we have our rock salt font here. And where we're going to actually add this is in our home directory of our system. So let me open up a new window and I'll show you exactly where that is. So this is the home directory. And here are all the files in the home directory. Now, we're actually going to add it to a hidden folder. So on Linux, a folder that starts with a dot is a hidden, a hidden folder. So the way we can show these is to click this little menu item here and then say show hidden files. So now that those are showing, you can come down here and you can look for the dot font folder or fonts folder uh, past it. So right here. And you see that it has a little lock icon to it. So if we were to go in here, we're unfortunately not going to be able to simply drag and drop this folder in there because it's locked. So if I try it, you see that nothing really happens when we do that. So we have to have a new way to go about doing this. Uh, let me show you probably the easiest user interface way to do it. So you do have to open up a terminal. So terminal is the little black box of instructions on your computer. And I think the easiest way to actually do it is to run this sudo h nautilus command here. And let me see if I can make this bigger so you can see what's going on. So if I run this command, I can go through and I can actually open up a nautilus window as a super admin. So let me just run that. I'm going to put in my password. And now I have a new window here. And now this is like very similar to the other window I have open, except this one is being run as a super administrator. So I can come through here and I can actually go to my home and I want to actually, you know, I'm going to go to my file system. I'm going to start from the top here. It's the easiest way that I found to navigate to this. 
and I want to go to my, so I was in the root before, I didn't want that. I wanna be in my home directory and I wanna be in my GMA FISC, that's a user for this computer. And then I wanna go down and I wanna find that folder again. So I'm gonna come through here, look for fonts. Okay, here's fonts, great. So that's added there. And now I can drag this folder from my downloads over into this dot fonts folder. And you can see that it's been added here. Great, so we're in pretty good shape there. We can close out of some of these windows. We don't need this window open anymore. We can actually get back out of this terminal now. We don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna go and I'm going to check my GIMP now and see if this is in here. And if I start typing rock, you'll notice that nothing is happening. So the key to this working is you have to do a, a restart on your actual um, program. So let me just close out of this. I'm gonna discard the changes. I'm going to click this one more time. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to add a new canvas. Let's say that's okay. And I'm going to look for the rock Salt A, and that's coming through now. And if I click and I type, this is rock salt. Awesome, that seems to be working now. So that's how you add a custom font in GIMP. Uh, stay tuned for new tutorials on GIMP coming out over the next few weeks. And thanks for watching.